five turnovers um, and a uh, mishandled PAT is the is the story. So uh, you can't expect to win football games against good teams um, and turn the ball over five times. Two of them pick sixes and two of them in short field drives. Yeah, that's potential. 28 points. I think we played well enough defensively. We probably needed one more stop there late when we got it to 34-31. We couldn't come up with a stop there defensively. We played well enough defensively for us to win. We shot ourselves in the foot offensively. We battled back to get it to 34-31 with a chance to, to win the game. And, you know, we could come up with a big stop. But this game was not set up for us to rely on our defense to come up with a big stop. This game was set up for our offense, uh, you know, to win the game. And um, we put our defense in such a bad situation today and, um, you know, battled back, great resolve, great character. The kids are uh, as good a group of kids that I've coached. But if you're sloppy, you know, I just told them, you know, this isn't rec ball. This isn't CYO. There's no pats on the back for being great competitors. We're, we're doing this to win. And uh, we didn't win the game. And uh, we didn't win it because of the obvious circumstances in the game, and that's five turnovers. So with that, questions? Brian, what was that halftime message? What got you going in the second half? It's, well, we, we knew there were plays out there for us. I mean, it, it really wasn't much of a change. They, stepped, they kept pressuring. They kept doing what they did. and. Um, it's just, you know, first turnover, you know, Everett's got the ball in one hand. I mean, second turnover, we don't cut the tackle. We shoot dust the tackle, he knocks it down. Third one, we're supposed to hand the ball off. I mean, we just did what we were supposed to do in the second half, in the first half, and, and, and moved, moved offensively like we were expecting to move in the first half. I know this is early to ask you this, but when you sit back and evaluate this, what do you think the reasons are going to be that we're coming out as flat as you did? You didn't really protect. We were on, did you see the first drive? Did no, you I watch know, the first no, drive? I know, I know, but you did. So how is that being flat on the first drive? Because you didn't protect Golson in the first half. You were Wait a second, did you see the first drive? First half. Did you watch the first drive? I did, yes, sir. Okay, did you know how many plays the first drive was? Yeah, and you, you how many plays was the first drive? After that, you didn't play good football for it was the, rest of the first half. Yeah, we tur I just went over it. We turned the ball over three times. How was that flat? That sloppy football. We had a 13 play drive that we would have liked to score on, right? We were we balanced it, we ran it, we threw it, moved it all the way down the field, chopped time off the clock. That's not flat. So you need to understand the difference between being flat as a football team and not executing. We didn't execute at that. We turned the ball over the next three out of four times that we had the ball. That's the problem. Is there a follow-up to being flat? I, I just, you gave up chunks of yards in the ground game. You didn't protect Everett real well in the first half. Well, we, we gave up points offensively. Okay, we, we gave them the ball on the 23 you and, and the 20. You and I talk about this another time. Yeah, well, I'm just wondering what game you were watching I, in the first half. I understand half. the turnovers. There were other areas in the game where you didn't play well in the first half. That's all I'm saying. Well. We were in a position that if offensively we take care of the football, I agree. our defense did okay. They were, they were where we thought, yeah, we, they probably got a little bit more run game than we thought, but not to the point where if you look at the halftime score, take 14 points or take 21 points off the board, it's a whole different game. Brian, how can you, I know they're not all on Golson, especially the picks, but the fumbles consistently. How Why aren't they all on Golson? Well, a couple were hit from behind. There was you say you, you mentioned a lineman didn't cut the defensive end when he right, gets tipped, one, and, and yeah. I, I think the second the second pick six went off of Robinson. It was a yeah, it was him. yeah. He should have yeah. caught that ball. So they're not it, not all six turnovers are on goals. No, but the, I agree. The fumbles, the two fumbles were a little sloppy. How do you guys work with him? To is there a way to work with him? We've been working with him. I mean, we I, I don't know. Sooner or later, he's he's got to take it on himself to take care of the football. I don't know what else to do. Um, you know, it's, it's, we're at that point now where, you know, it, it hurt us in the game, obviously. And, and he knows it. 
I mean, he's going to walk in here, you're going to ask him the same questions. And he, he doesn't want to turn the football over. He was extending, put the ball out. He's got to, he's got to take care of the football better. Cody Riggs close today, or was that just pregame not happening? Yeah, we went, we put him through pregame, and it just didn't, didn't have the fire coming out of his back pedal. And, you know, we were going to get matched up with Strong, you know, and we just felt like he, he wasn't at the level that we felt like he could go. A stress fracture? No, stress stress reaction. So no fracture. <clears throat> and then um, <coughs> Deshaun Kaiser was sort of like shielding you as you were signaling plays. Did you feel like something had been compromised there in terms of your calls going into Everett? Um, we, we wanted to make sure that, <clears throat> that um, we uh, didn't get any of our signals. Uh, well, when you towel, on each side, you would have to be directly in line to pick up any of our signals. So we just wanted to be um, cautious today. Brian, did Tarian get hurt in the first half? Did he didn't play in the second half, I don't think. No, coach's decision. Brian, they would put a lot of pressure on your times, especially that one stretch when you had three, you were sacked three times. Was it more them doing something different, or are you guys just not? <coughs> no, they pressured us the whole game. Following yeah. up on Bob's question, uh, Cam McDaniel pass protection was that one of the reasons why yes. he got? Yeah, that was one of the reasons. Yeah. And then he started running really hard. But, you know, we were throwing the ball a lot, and, and he's our best pass protector. Brian, you said the third turnover should have been a handoff. To my memory, that was the first pick six. Was there an adjustment at the line that you didn't anticipate? That might well, you, you know our offense. I mean, we have run and pass routes behind them, okay. right? And, and um, you know. The ball should have been handed off. Everett saw it differently. So, you know, that's coaching too, right? Yeah. So we got to do a better job coaching him so when he sees that look, you know what I mean, he doesn't think that he's supposed to, to throw the football. So that's coaching. Were there some first half looks on their defense you hadn't seen? No. So much? no. No. Field, fire zone, boundary, fire zone, pretty standard stuff. I mean, everything that we practiced, everything that we saw last year, we saw this year. Absolutely no changes uh, in, in what they did. There was nothing that we saw out there which makes it even more maddening and frustrating. Coach, on sudden change defense, the last few years you guys have been really good at that. Is this just a different group? Is it a different scheme? What's, what's been the, the struggles this year as opposed to the years past? Couldn't tell you. Couldn't tell you. Really. When the turnovers started adding up, did you have thoughts of putting Malik in earlier than no. that ever? Well, our best chance to win is is with Everett. What did you guys do defensively in the second half to slow them down a little bit? Or something they didn't watch the um, you know, obviously our run fits were a little bit better, um, and and you know our, our tight front was better. You know, we we moved to a little bit more tight front because they moved the ball a little bit, ran the ball a little bit better than we wanted to out of some of our. Uh, bench fronts, so we went to some tight fronts. I think that adjustment helped us. They were, they were bouncing it into our boundary, and our boundary corner was, you know, not there where we wanted them to be. So we, we needed to make a couple adjustments there. I think that helped. How, how, would, you, how would you evaluate Niles Morgan today? It's hard, really. You know, we, we you know, I think he, by and large. You know, he did a nice job of, of communicating and, and getting us, you know, the information that we needed, right? So there was good communication. It was wide-eyed. You know, we had good communication with him back and forth. Um, and he gets there quickly. You know, he, he bothered Kelly when he got there. You know what I mean? He's a, um, he's a guy that we activated a lot today, as you know. Um, so I, I'd, say, I'd say he did a pretty good job. You know, he competed today, you know. He got matched up with, with Strong a couple times. I thought he did a nice job. Um, you know, there's things that we, we need him to do better. You know, the last touchdown, he's got boot control. He's not there. Um, you know, he needs to force the ball a couple times on that last drive. But, you know, he hasn't played a ton, uh, but he competed. Um, I, I like the way he competed out there. Um, he'll get more. You know, more snaps, I think, you know, he, he gets better. But right. I like the way he competed.
Brian, is it does it oversimplify just to say you have a lot of young players who played really young? I mean, if you really look at it closely, we turn the ball over five times. I mean, you can't turn the ball over. <laughs> I mean, I mean that's why I take issue with playing flat. I mean, I just. Our guys were ready to play, and you can't play sloppy like that. I mean, it's ridiculous. I mean, what I'm upset about is how crazy it is that we saw everything for a week, the same stuff today that we saw all week, and we turn it over five times. We shoot dust the, uh, the right defensive end and don't bring him down. We get the ball tipped. We inexplicably put the ball on the ground on a scramble. I mean, they're maddening uh, mistakes. And I guess that's what I'm most upset about because we could have moved the ball today effectively. And our defense would have hung in there and did enough for us to get a win on the road. And it didn't happen today. And that's what I'm most upset about. Brian Evers has some really good I'm mad at you. But if you want me to get mad at you, I'll get mad at you. Go ahead. Go ahead. Everett's had You're my guy today. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Everett's had great moments you know, with you guys. Do you look at today as sort of an anomaly, or is it a, is it a legitimate backward step that, that you need to think about big people? You know, it's one of those deals where, you know, you take – you know, you take one step forward and two steps back, and then he comes back in the second half and he does some really good things, you know. Um, he's got to strive for consistency, you know. I mean, if he plays clean in the first half, um, who knows where we'd be right now. Um, you know, uh, we just we just got to get a, a consistent performance, and, and that means a clean performance and taking care of the football. And, and again, not all those mistakes were his, you know, um, but – you know, again, I, I think the first one, you know, obviously kind of set a bad tone to the game. Thanks, everybody. One of our players in here.